Global X interviews social entrepreneurs who tackle some of the world's biggest problems. They are pioneers of innovation that benefit humanity. I run a company called Mokshug Access India Private Limited. Uh, it's a rural infrastructure and services company which has a primary focus on microfinance. Uh, it's based out of Bagalkot uh, in uh, the state of Karnataka, which is the southern part of India. Uh, we have 25,000 uh, customers. Uh, we've dispersed loans of close to 2 million US dollars. Uh, we have set up 10 branches. We have uh, 97 employees uh, who are working towards creating wealth for the poor. And uh, we have a, a huge uh, insurance subscriber base too. We provide a range of financial uh, services, which is loans and uh, health insurance, life insurance, uh, cattle and goat uh, insurance products. United brings in is, is the network that they have uh, and also that the team that they have. I mean, uh, the team members have diverse experience right from banking to advertising to uh, just about you know, consulting and investment banking. So, so this is real value for a, a startup MFI such as us uh, because the way we operate is really focus on microfinance and then basically leverage on microfinance to provide a range of financial services. So in that sense, we're trying to you know, really innovate in microfinance and, and having Uniters who do think outside the box uh, is, is very uh, comforting for us. One primary advice is uh, microfinance shouldn't be looked at as just a micro loan. I mean, microfinance is a range of financial services to the poor. So, do not focus just on the micro credit part. Also, look at other uh, financial uh, interventions. So, uh, purely because you, you know, if you focus on the customer's needs, you'll find out that they need more than a loan. They need additional uh, financial services and additional value-added services. So, so focus on the needs of the customer and accordingly provide them the services. We believe that insurance is a good risk mitigation tool because, the, the area, especially the area that we're operating in, uh, sometimes if a cow or a buffalo, uh, you know, really dies, uh, you know, the source of income for that client, uh, you know, isn't really there. So it'll be tough for her to repay the loan. So, so in that sense, we provide a risk mitigation tool in the form of an insurance. So, so in case the cow or a buffalo dies, the insurance firm pays out the, the amount which covers the losses. I'm really passionate about this. Uh, uh, I cannot be a spectator to what's happening in rural India. I mean, I need to be a player in terms of, you know, making them active participants because India is growing in immensely and, and, and really I'd like to make them, you know, part of that growth story. I really believe that we have a once in a lifetime opportunity to do something about poverty in India. And, and, and I believe that the growing economy will enable uh, you know, me to do this. So yeah, uh, I really couldn't think of myself doing anything else other than this, yeah. Currently what's happening is you have 70% uh, of India really, you know, in that sense, uh, left out of uh, all, the, all the good things that life can offer. So I would say, you know, poverty is going to be uh, halved in India. Uh, you have pretty much uh, 300 million uh, to 400 million people, in, uh, you know, uh, living under the poverty line. So I, will, I believe at least 80 percent of that would be alleviated from poverty. And, and yeah, uh, I, I see technology playing a huge role in terms of getting people out of poverty. Global X is also on Social Edge at socialedge.org.